The upcoming 2024 South African elections will see a fierce battle of control in KwaZulu-Natal province, a political heavyweight with the potential to sway national results. We dive into the strategies of the ANC and the newly formed MK party, exploring the factors at play and the potential impact on the national political landscape. Facing anxieties about losing Kozulu Natal, the ANC National Executive Committee has deployed a number of its members to the province. This move, dubbed as an attempt to contain and avert the Azuma tsunami, highlights the party's concern over the potential influence of former President Jacob Zuma. The MK party, with its strong association with former President Jacob Zuma, has emerged as a serious contender in Kozulu Natal. Unlike the ANC, the MK party has successfully campaigned throughout the province without relying on mobilizing supporters from other regions. However, the ANC maintains a confidence facade. Spokesperson Mafikan Debele downplayed the significance of the NEC deployment, stating it as a normal campaign practice. Similarly, Provincial Chairperson Spunis Oduma dismissed the MK party's threat, claiming the ANC closes ranks when faced with challenges. The battleground of KwaZulu-Natal exposes the intricate interplay of various factors. Zuma's enduring influence in the province, coupled with the ANC's potential vulnerabilities, contributes to the anxieties surrounding the upcoming elections. While the ANC attempts to project a sense of control, the deployment of NEC members and the rhetoric of closing ranks indicate a level of concern about losing ground. The upcoming elections in KwaZulu-Natal promise to be a nail-biting contest. The ANC, Zuma Tsunami anxieties highlight the potential threat posed by the MK party and the province's pivotal role in shaping the national political landscape. As the campaign progresses, all eyes will be on Kozulu Natal to see the strategies employed by both parties and their impact on the broader political narrative in South Africa. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.